Hello everybody! Today we are going to take a look at curved ultrawide monitor from Philips. This one is a 34 inch one with 3840 by 1440p resolution, 100Hz refresh rate and USB-C docking and it's focused mainly for content creators. This is my first experience with ultrawide monitors so I'm pretty excited. Enough talking, let's pop this baby open! Unboxing experience was nothing really impressive considering its price, but the inclusion of all the cables is uh, pretty nice. The setup process is very simple and toolless. Join together both parts for the stand with just one screw and then add the stand to the display itself and it's done. Even though the setup is so easy, every adjustment you would want for a monitor is here. So there is no problem finding an angle you feel comfortable with. And overall it looks pretty damn nice. Sleek design with small bezels, vibrant colors and no color distortion from sides. You can judge it yourself, but I really like it. Let's fast forward two weeks and see whether I like it after using some time as well. And the short answer is yes. Screen settings are controlled with a little joystick that acts like a power button as well and the settings are very intuitive, easy to understand and offers a lot of things to fine adjust for your liking. Colors are nice and vibrant and pretty accurate as well as the target audience for these are mostly content creators. The 100Hz refresh rate makes the usage feel pretty smooth and allows to enjoy some gaming action as well from time to time. And if you think your PC can't handle so many pixels for gaming, especially at 100Hz, this monitor offers to work in different resolutions as well, including the standard 1080p. But don't get me wrong here, refresh rate is just not for gaming. On such a large surface, your cursor will travel large distances very fast and uh, having anything less than 100Hz would feel choppy and would not be very enjoyable. But back to gaming, having so wide curved screen gives you a closer feeling to the game and much more information as you can see so much more to the sides. For content production, usually the bigger space the better. For example, in Adobe Premiere, you can stack many bins to the side and still have plenty of room to work with. Built-in speakers are not that bad as well. I made a whole day listening only to them and it wasn't such a bad experience. If you don't have speakers and wanted to run to the store, buy some $20 speakers while your nice set is coming in, you don't need to. This will do just fine. My biggest complaint with this monitor is one of its main features, the USB docking. Of course it sounds like a really nice feature, but the location of USB ports make them impossible to use without lifting and rotating your monitor. And with curved ultrawide monitor where there is mainly only one viewing angle you feel comfortable with, readjusting monitor every single time you want to plug in your USB cable is not the right way to do it, at least in my opinion. But other than this, I have really nothing to complain about, and I feel that this is the best monitor I have used to this date. I can easily recommend it to anyone, and if I had spare $700 laying around, I would probably get it. Philips, if you are watching this, hit me up! Thank you for watching this, hit the like button if you enjoyed this content, and leave a comment for any questions or recommendations you got. See you in the next video. Bye!